hello thank you guys so much for joining my knit plan just youtube channel today because we are doing another daily plan with me so i'm jess you can find me also on instagram and tiktok as knit plan jess i keep links in my description box below so for my new viewers welcome i hope you guys subscribe and enjoy the video and for my returning viewers welcome back enjoy the video and thank you for your continued support okay so <laughs> there's all of my, my little normal stuff i have to say that i feel like just becomes a jumbled mess in my head sometimes we are doing september 5th and 6th i am going to be using the new mickey and minnie indigo and i'm going to be using um, this is one of the dashboard packs, but it has stickers that matched like a student set years ago. I just kind of figured it might be fun. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be using for the 5th and the 6th. I am kind of planning out of order because I have not planned for the 2nd through 4th yet. Um, I wanted to do that tonight actually because I haven't picked out the sticker books yet. Let's do... The sixth is going to be the Disney Indigo, and the fifth is going to be this one. It's like a unicorn and diamond set. Like a magical themed, I guess. I love these stickers. I just, I don't know why I've never really used them too much. All right, for starting out, we're going to white out this header. I don't really know what quotes that I have. If I have to pull from a different sticker book for a quote, I will in fact do that though. I really want to use a clear quote up there. We don't have anything. In this case, I'm going to pull out the Rainbow Mega Book because maybe there is, maybe there's a sticker that kind of like matches these colors. Even if I can find a gold one, that would work as well. Um, okay, so far, no such luck. Kind of really surprised that they don't have like gold stickers as well. Gold quotes, that's what I want. Okay, so that side was a dud. Um, okay, so this one had this one does. Um, I could potentially use the gold quotes that don't have any green because I don't really mm, that green doesn't doesn't fit with it. This one has silver, which is obviously a nope. Okay, this that was a really that was a really high pitch. This. Um, this one potentially could work. All right, we're going to do, first of all, this quote right here. It says, you can do anything you set your mind to. Also, my horrible job of waiting out really irked me. All right, before we potentially pick any more clear quotes... Um, let's find stickers to use. I definitely plan on using gold stickers. Part of me also wants to use like some of these little diamonds around it. And because they're not wanting to come off, let's... Crikey. Use my tweezers. This is why I keep tweezers nearby because you never know when stickers are going to rebel and just want to stay stuck to the page. Um, oh, this one. I was trying to like decide which color have I not used yet. Perfect. All right, so the stickers that I actually want to use, we're gonna use this purple because it says make a list I want to use these gold um, for the header or not for the header for the checklist 
How about we just use wax paper? Um, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> so I'm going to stick it somewhere else. <laughs> These are stickers that I'm using for this spread only. This is a Monday. Let's use two checklists anyways. Part of me kind of wants to use this for my header. Because I just think that that's cute. But I also don't want a ton of gold. So let's stick with that. Um, I want this one. And part of me wants this one too, because I want to incorporate the unicorns. Let's go straight to the unicorns. I could do a small unicorn. I really like that gray unicorn. I like the gray unicorn. Let's put the gray unicorn over here. Okay, we're going to be cutting off his horn, but I think I don't think we're going to be cutting off too much. I think you can still very clearly see that it is in fact a unicorn. All right, I can dig it. Um I I kind of want to use this one, this Dare Dream Do. It has been a while since I have used, yeah, it has been a while since I have used wax paper for my daily sheets. Drop me a comment, let me know. Do you like it when I use wax paper or do you prefer just straight risky planning where you go straight from the sticker book to the paper? Let me know. I'm, I'm kind of just really curious. Um, sometimes I prefer to use wax paper. And if I'm planning and I'm not recording a video, I do tend to use the wax paper. But at the same time, I'm also really curious to kind of see what other people's preferences are. Um, let's use some of these. So I want this gold header. Ooh, I want this green header because I'm bringing in the green and then we've got the green up there. And don't know what that was. I really don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, we've got that. Um, I'm also thinking about this right here. Oh, I don't know. I don't really want that. I want this one. I prefer, whenever I have box stickers, I prefer the ones that have the dot grid over the graph. But I don't mind the graph design. I just don't like, I just don't like the lined. I think the lined are the, is the ones that I, I don't like at all and I try to avoid using until I absolutely have to. However, I love the blank stickers though. The ones that have like the completely black blank because then I can just kind of use it however I want. All right, let's stick. I'm going to use this today up here. Let's stick with, or actually, I'm going to use. So Duke was being all sweet and kind to me because he really wanted food. And then I left to go come to my room and he kind of decided, okay, I'm going to go play with a toy now until she decides to feed me. He makes me sound like a horrible person and I promise I'm really not. All right, JK, I am. Um... We're going to do this one right here. I'm going to do my little crooked thing because I love my little crooked thing. And I was thinking about this one because I was wanting to do like a layering action where, oh, I love using wax paper. I love it so much. I think I might start using it again. Um, okay, so there's that. And then I wanted to use a gold box to do some layering. Um, 
put it like right there. I think I like that. And I think I might have gotten way too many stickers, like more than what I realistically need. Welcome to my life. And then we're going to do this. Ooh, actually, no. Um, I want to push this over as much as I can without having to punch it. I don't think I'm a fan of this, of this unicorn. So we are pulling everything up. This is why I use the wax paper <laughs> because there are times that I put stickers down and I'm like, hmm, do I want to use this or do I not? Do I want to just see how it looks? And yes, sure, I could do that on the wax paper, but I don't know. I don't really think about that sometimes. And then I want to put it on the sticker sheet and oh, this is over way too far. Um, and then if I don't use wax paper, I can't pick them up and move them. See, so like this one, I'm, I'm having to move it literally a million times because I don't think I'm paying very good attention at what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. We want to do this one right here. And then I want to do this one right here. And Duke is trying to get my attention because he's like, feed me, mom. For such a small cat, he has, he has like, I don't understand how he can eat so much and not gain a pound. I mean, which is not a bad thing for a cat. I mean, it's good that he's not overweight, but geez. He acts like I'm starving him if he doesn't eat every five seconds. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Part of me, ooh, part of me is really struggling with this right here. With the green underneath of the unicorn. And I think I need to white out that line. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in love with that placement. However, it works. And I think I just need to suck it up. I want to do this. And I want to do this one right here. And then I want to divide this up. Um, so I can divide that up right like that. And then we have a remember that can go right there. Or do I want to do, I love using these headers. I can do remember right there and then take note in here. And then I'm left with a partial. I'm left with a partial checklist that I'm going to use because I am going to cut this baby in half. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Oh, he's so pitiful though. He's so pitiful. His food is going to drop in like an hour. He can wait one hour to eat. It's not the end of the world. All right, we are done with September.
fifth. I, I think it turned out cute. I'm not in love with this section right here, but that's okay. I feel like it's all, I feel like it's too much. Is this too much? I think it's, I think that this is way too much. Um, and I think I think it's too much. And I think I just want to put the unicorn right there. And then put something right there to kind of cover that up because of that mess that I made. Yeah, it happens. Okay, that looks better. That looks so much better. <sighs> Sorry stickers that got wasted. You guys are going to the rip pile because I'm not gonna put you back in there. All right, let's move on to Indigo, Disney Indigo. This is such a pretty sticker book. Like I freaking love it. I love it, it is so pretty. Um, I love the silver that is in it, it makes me happy. I am going to start, though, with a quote. Good things are coming. I wanted to use it on a different spread, but I didn't. So I'm going to use it on this one. Um, this is a very muted toned book. So we're going to stick to... I might have to like stick to some of like the darker colors also look another okay oh my goodness I'm a mess um so we're gonna use those ones I kind of want to use these ones I wanted to use them in a different spread but I didn't so maybe I can now use them in this one. Oh, I have an idea I have, I have a cute idea, I think. So we're going to use those. Um, my problem is going to be, do I have a quote that I can put in the corner? I'm worried that the answer is going to be no. So I might have to use a white, like one of the paper quotes. But I don't think that this one has any actual vertical quotes. I think they're all horizontal. Why would they do that? <laughs> Um, we have a Find Your Bliss. Wow. This is the first time that I have ever seen. This is the first time that I have ever seen them not have vertical clear quotes in a book that had clear quotes in general. So let's use this one. This is Find Your Bliss. At least in that way, I don't have to white out anything. Um, I do want to use, I want to stick to like the light blue and the dark blue. I like those two colors. Now the thing to remember that when I do a spread using wax paper, I do have the problem that the spreads take a lot longer to do. So I have to be careful about that when I'm recording. So good things are coming. I hope I didn't just take away space for this. I did. That's okay. Because I has an idea. I do this a lot for spreads actually. I'm going to put, we're going to put this one right here because I don't want it to be directly under that. Um, or we're changing the spread up completely. We're whiting out the today. And we, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. So I'm just very simply shortening the box so then that way I can be able to use it and it looks just like a regular box. Okay, so you see this Minnie Mouse? How cute would this be to make her look like that she is coming from behind? Oh, 
it just tore her. I just, she's coming from behind there. And then Mickey's just like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm super cool. I kind of really like that. Now, I, I pulled out two, <laughs> two of these and I don't need it. I don't need both of them. So we're going to do this right here. So this, okay, I, I've done a spread in the past. Maybe it was for September. Let me, let's actually look back. Maybe it was for January. Um, January, you guys. Okay, I think it was a spread for, um, in August, where I completely flip-flopped it. Social media was on the right. Personal home was on the left. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, I love how that looks. And then I can use both of them, because that makes me happy. It always makes me happy to use lots and lots of checklists because to me they're just they're just so clean and I love planning using a checklist. Okay, so anyways, I did a I believe it was it was August. I did a spread where social media was on the right and um my personal home was on the left. Because I just, I like doing different things. I don't want to just stick to the same thing every single day. And I'm, I am trying to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, next thing. I don't know, I just want to. Again, I don't know what that noise was. If I ever make really weird noises coming out of my mouth, it's probably because my brain is like thinking and then I just, I'm not paying attention to the fact that I'm recording. <laughs> I am not a normal person. I really hope that you all know that. <laughs> I want to use this one that says believe in your dreams. So I decided for my social media planner that I am going to be using the Mickey and well the Indigo line in general for the whole the whole month. And I'm so excited. We're gonna use this one too. And then from there, I feel like I need a good header. Ooh. Not birthday celebrates. I could potentially get a header from Indigo, which I might do. Let's see. Um, okay, we're going to pull out the Indigo. There's some stickers that don't coordinate with it um, because of like the bronze. However, there's this. And I could just use this important sticker. It's cute. And then I want to use this today sticker. So we're going to white out the reminders and it's going to go today. I like it. I think it's cute. I am super pleased with how it turned out. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do because I don't feel like I used enough stickers. Uh -huh, JK lol. I used a lot of stickers. I should place, I should do like a bet. Which sticker book am I going to use up first of my Disney? Because part of me would definitely place bets on this one. Um, I'm going to cut this so I can, whoops, do that. See, I just want to give it like a little bit of that denim color at the bottom. And then, okay, this one is going to have to be trim down this way. Um, 
trying to decide how much room I need to give. And then I'm going to have to pull. So there's, oops, there's that. And then we have this little one that I can be able to use. Oh, that's, okay, that is looking cute. Whoop, there we go. <gasps> this might be like my favorite spread in a while. Although as I'm looking at the camera, Mickey and Minnie look really creepy. So, oh, Minnie's joining me and he's sitting on my bed. Okay, so we have the magical stickers from the school. That's what I call them. I don't know what they're really called, but I call them the magical line. And then we have the Mickey and Minnie indigo. I think it turned out super cute even with creepy Mickey and Minnie right there. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.